HeySpace.com, something really special. We're on the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum today with retired NASA astronaut Mike Massimino, call sign Mass, but he's not quitting space. No, indeed. He's here on the boat. He's got something really special for us, for you and your family next time you come to New York. Mike, what's going on here? Well, we're here at the Intrepid uh, Museum, and uh, we're celebrating, I don't know if you can see back there, but it says Hubble at 25. So this spring is going to be the 25th anniversary of the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. And uh, they're going to have ex ex exhibits, programs. We've got my crew coming in right. on November the 12th. It's going to be like a mini crew reunion, and Charlie Gibson will be the the, uh, the moderator of a panel talking about the Hubble and our mission. And uh, they're gonna have some of our artifacts there, some of the tools we trained with, lots of photos, uh, some, uh, I think, some really interesting stuff to pay tribute to the, to the telescope and the missions that serviced it, and to try to tell people all the great things that are coming from the, from the Hubble Space Telescope, which has already led to its one Nobel Prize. I think there are more coming. I think it's the greatest scientific instrument ever built both from an engineering perspective and from the science that returns. So I, I think it's worthwhile people come and, and take a look at what we got here. So it says 13 billion years in the making. We like that. Is that how long it's been? 13.7. Uh, yeah, so, yeah that's okay, time, that's, that's a long time. Yeah, so yeah. What does that mean? I know you're not an astronomer. You're pretty much I'm not. Astronomer. I don't I don't look through the telescope. I only fix it. Once we got that straight. Uh, you know, what, what Hubble does is it's kind of like a time machine. So when it looks deep into the universe, what it's really doing is it's seeing light that, is, uh, that has finally reached our planet from, uh, from a long time ago, right? So as it goes further, it sees further and further, it's seeing really further and further back into time. And so it's gotten pretty close to the origins of, of the universe, where we think where, where things began, yeah. the initial light that was there. First light. When, when, first light when, when the universe was, was formed. So that's the kind of thing Hubble can do. It takes us way far away. You know, we've only been to the moon with people, and we've been beyond the, now beyond our solar system recently with probes, you know, with the unmanned uh, spacecraft. But Hubble shows us what's way, way out there, not only in our galaxy, but galaxies far, far away and right to the ends of the universe. So Hubble is named for Edwin Hubble, the right. famous astronomer. Yep. What do you think he would have thought about a telescope orbiting above the atmosphere that could stare persistently at faraway patches of the universe for weeks at a time. I mean, back in his day, he was standing at the telescope, smoking a pipe, yeah. guiding and guiding and guiding right. by hand. Edwin Hubble would have been really excited to have this telescope named after him and, and what it's done. And it's, I think it's, I don't know if there's much argument there to say that it's the greatest telescope ever built yeah. and uh, has returned so, so much for our understanding of the universe, not only answering questions, but creating questions. Like the, uh, the discovery of, of dark energy mm -hmm. was from Hubble and, and dark matter was, was from Hubble. That's we didn't point. even know what that means is that there's more matter out there than we can account for. So they were trying to measure how much, you know, what's, what, what, how much matter there is out there. And we found out we, can, that we can't account for all, we can't recognize yep. all the elements out of there. And the energy, dark energy, uh, Adam Reese, one of the scientists who got the Nobel for that, as they were looking at the way, uh, the, the way the universe is expanding. So the Big Bang Theory, which Edwin Hubble uh, discovered and coined, and right. came, that's his, one of his major contributions, mm -hmm. Adam and his team were trying to uh, determine how, how fast the universe was expanding. And what they found was is that not only was it expanding, but it's expanding at an accelerating rate. Right. So, so if you take a baseball and throw it, it's going to slow down. It's going to go and then it's going to slow down. That's yeah. what we thought was going on with that's what most everyone thought sure. was happening with the universe. Okay, it's expanding, but it's slowing down because things slow down. Yeah. What he found was is, is if you took a baseball, the analogy of taking a baseball, not only does it go, it just it starts to speed up yep. as it gets further away. Yep. And that's what's going on in the universe. And so we don't understand that. And that's what we call dark energy. There's some energy source that we can't account for right. that's acting out there. And that's the that's the type of, of discoveries that Hubble has given, not just the beauty of what's out there, but also these fundamental questions, discoveries that we wouldn't even know how to ask until Hubble showed us what's really going on. Indeed, and speaking of baseball, I couldn't help but notice that there's Yeah, I made a couple of baseball analogies. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Mets fan, I'm a baseball fan, and uh, my team growing up was the Mets, and uh, that's a home plate from, from Shea Stadium, which is where the Mets used to play. Right. Uh, through the 2008 season, and then they, they uh, opened up a new stadium. But that was uh, from their old stadium. They sent me that home plate, and we flew it in space. In tribute, not just to the Mets, but also to the city of New York. 
Right. Uh, so that was that was something we took with us. We also have a flag next to there, Dave, which uh, we flew. That flag, I grew up in Long Island, Franklin Square, and that flag was given to me by the VFW post down on uh, Long Island after my first space flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, every shuttle crew likes to fly an American flag so you can take pictures with the American flag in the background yeah. and as a tribute to our country. Sure. And uh, so we were looking for a flag and, you know, hey, who's got a flag? We were just sitting around and I go, well, I got one. And, uh, can we, what do you think if we fly for the September 11 museum? Right. And there was no discussion on that. Everyone liked that idea. So we flew that flag and then returned it to the, uh, or gave it to the, uh, to the September 11 museum. And now it's on display here as well. What else will we see in the exhibition? Take us around a little bit. Yeah, there's going to be a, a bunch of really cool pictures, Hubble images and then pictures of the crew. Uh, and uh, you'll see um, the actual tools that we trained with. I think they have a bar that I ripped off of Hubble. There'll be some actual space artifacts yeah, there as a well. Piece of Hubble will a be piece here. of Hubble will be there. So uh, you know, it'll tell the story not only of the of the science, uh, but also of the engineering that went into it and the training of the astronauts and the servicing missions to the telescope. So you know, I, it'll it'll take it from start to finish. And I I, it, it, I am pretty biased, right, Dave? But you, I, don't, I think you might agree with that. It is a I would say the greatest scientific instrument ever. Yes. Would you agree? It's pretty close. Dave's a smart guy. It's pretty close. All right, so it's pretty huh? close. If not, you might argue right a little bit. It's right up there in the pantheon of All right, the pantheon is in the top couple, yeah. and uh, it's a it's a it's a great story. It's 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 a it's a space story because it's in space, and we went with the shuttle to service it. Yeah. And it's also a great science story for fundamental understanding of what's you know what we're made of, what the universe is all about. It sure is. So uh, it's a, just a great achievement on, in a lot of different levels, and that's all going to be portrayed uh, here at the museum. Space.com.